What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I want to share with you a few resources and kind of open up a bit of a discussion. I want to ask you a few questions uh, that really don't have much of an answer, but uh, I just want to get you thinking about a few things, okay? I want you to ask yourself, where are you going? As an artist, what are you doing? How are you getting there? Okay? And then um, I'm going to show you some some resources and talk to you about a few things that have been uh, that have helped me quite a bit. What I'm working on here today is a is a Marty McFly. Um, this is actually a concept by a guy by the name of uh, Matt Thorup. I uh, reached out to him a while back um, because I saw a concept on his on his uh, portfolio, and I really liked it. And so I reached out to him and I said, "Hey, man, uh, would there be any way that I could model this? Um, you know, and you know, because I need the practice, and uh, it'd be really cool to do." And he reached back out to me. And he was like, "Yeah, man, go for it. I'd love to see it." So, um, reach out to artists, man. Uh, talk to them. <laughs> Uh, because people like talking about their work. So I want to talk to you about a few resources, uh, but first I want to um, talk to you about uh, professionalism as an artist. Being a professional artist, what does it mean? Um, you know, uh, a lot of you uh, may be in school, a lot of you uh, may just have an, uh, an interest in 3D. I, I don't know where you guys come from, but I can tell you where I come from. Okay, a little bit about me is um, I'm a combat veteran. I spent five years in the Marine Corps. Um, shortly thereafter, I found myself in art school studying uh, audio production of all things. But then I managed to, uh, you know, I, I saw what people were doing with 3D work, and I was like, man, I, I really love to make movies. It's something I've always been interested in, and. Um, so here I am <laughs> doing 3D work uh, inside of ZBrush and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I wanted to share a few things with you and just uh, kind of kind of give you guys some some things to chew on, right? Uh, the first, first things I want to share with you is a couple of books that I found to be very uh, very mind opening. Okay, uh, the first one is The War of Art. Okay, uh, it's written by a guy named Stephen Pressfield. Um, he's a very successful writer, but wasn't always successful. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, you know, uh, he talks about his experiences and he actually gets in your face, talks about how to get yourself out of whatever rut you're in and defeat whatever resistance that you have going on that is keeping you from doing what you need to do okay and the other one is called creativity Inc it's written by Ed Camel uh, he's president of Pixar and if you don't know about Ed Catmull, uh I would definitely recommend uh, checking into him because uh, if it weren't for him we wouldn't have the 3D technology the way that we have it today. Okay, so uh, check out those two books and let me talk about this other resource um, that I've grown to love. Okay, when I first started working in ZBrush, I had, let's see, I went to art school, but um, I didn't pick up ZBrush until. I think less than a year before I graduated, right? Um, and I had a really good instructor. Uh, he's a very cool guy. Works at a local studio out here in Austin. Um, but you know, whenever you're in a classroom, this guy, you know, 20 to 30 people in it. Um, there are a lot of questions, and there are a lot of things that you have to kind of learn yourself, right? And while I was trying to find things to supplement, um, I ran across some people. Uh, one of them was Ryan Kingsland, um, and if you if you're not familiar with Ryan Kingsland, I uh, definitely recommend you check him out. He um, he was one of the earliest evangelists for for uh, for Pixelogic and for ZBrush. Um, you know, if it weren't for his efforts, you know, 
ZBrush may be very different today, you know. Um, so I wanted to talk about him uh, and how how studying him has has helped me. And uh, this is it's very important to whenever you're trying to learn a thing, right? It's very important to find the right resources, not just any resource, but the right ones, right? So if you are wanting to be a character artist, right? You want to find certain people. You don't want to just find um, some guy that is a character artist, and you need to you need to find somebody that's you know that is what you want to be because they're going to have more information than you ever could, right? And whenever I say character artist, I don't mean somebody that is that that models characters, somebody that sculpts characters or something like that. Whenever I think of a character artist, I think of somebody who designs characters, right? Somebody like Glenn Keane or uh, Danny Williams or Michael DeFeo. Uh, those, those, those are the people that I look to whenever, whenever I'm thinking about character design because I like cartoony things, right? Um, but whenever I was in school, I, I had. Uh, you know, I had a lot of questions and I needed a lot of answers. And uh, I studied, I was all over the forums. I was I was searching through YouTube with whatever I could find. Half the time I would watch demos. Uh, there's, there, there, there are tons of sped up demos that are all over YouTube. And I would learn a lot of things. I would sit there and I would just watch them over and over again because I wanted to learn their techniques. All right. Um, you know, there, there are other places, uh, you know, Digital Tutors is a good resource. Uh, they they always have great information, um, but it wasn't until I found Ryan, uh, and I I remember the first time I ran into him, or you know online, was uh, through a discussion that he was having about anatomy, uh, and it was you know he the way he addressed things was differently. Um, he he talked about being professional and and how to take yourself seriously um, because if this is what you want to do for your job then you got to take it seriously you got to treat it like work um, and, and I feel like a lot of people don't really do that I feel like uh, art school doesn't really get to that point art school is great for for teaching you technical skills and they run you through getting a portfolio together based on whatever they were able to get you to put together. But they don't uh, hit on things like, you know, work ethic and, uh, and uh, being able to get out of the training room, so to speak, and into the arena. And these are very important things because whenever you run into problems, you know, you either push through it and you find the solution or in the case of a lot of people a lot of people that I've graduated with or graduated before me people just give up right <laughs> and that's not okay whenever you spend what ninety thousand dollars for 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 an art education for me I was I was fortunate because you know I have my GI Bill paying for it but uh, you know not everybody uh, has has that ability right um, and so I found Ryan and that's that's Mr. Kingsley and himself and um, I want I, I, I decided I was like you know what I really love ZBrush I want to be able to teach this um, and I'm pretty knowledgeable but I really want to uh, I really want to challenge myself and so um, Ryan has this thing called URC <laughs> And uh, the great thing about URC is, uh, while they do have a lot of tutorials, it's it's built around the artist. It's built around developing artists, right? And so I spent 13 weeks in the ZBrush certification course, and um, I completed it, uh, did well with it. And uh, the great thing about it is that I can I can go back any time. Um, the cool thing is you're surrounded by other professionals right and I got to I got to study with Ryan um, you know and I got to 
get advice from him, get advice from other people. Um, it's a very collaborative thing, right? Uh, it's a community, and it's it, it's something different from from what Digital Tutors offers or even Gumroad. You know, if you find a tutorial on Gumroad, sometimes you can reach out to to the artist that made it. Uh, for instance, uh, Matt Thorpe, uh, the guy who designed this Marty McFly here that I've been working on. I've I've reached out to him and got his permission to work on on this, and uh, you know, it's you know, but that's I can't say that about every artist. It's it just happened to work out that way for me, right? Um, but what Ryan's trying to do here is he wants to offer URC courses for as low as ten dollars a month. Okay, um, and so this I'm telling you, this is about the best resource that you're going to find, um, and the reason why is because. This lineup, you're not going to find uh, people like this as available as this for the price uh, that this is going to be going for. And so, I, if I were you, if if I had this available to me uh, before I went to art school, I probably would have dropped out. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just being honest, because information is information. It doesn't matter where you get it. It doesn't matter what sort of piece of paper that you have at the end of the day. It's just a piece of paper. What what we need as artists is we need the right information from the right people, and we need development, and we need to know uh, where to turn whenever we run into uh, problems. And, um, you know, that's what URC has done for me, and I can't speak highly enough about it. Uh, right now, he's got a Kickstarter going on. Um, they want to raise one hundred sixty thousand dollars, and um, you know, this is the goal that they need to be able to offer this to the world. Right? Three D is exploding <laughs> in your face in three D. No, uh, but three D technology is is going through the roof. We have places. Uh, you know, entire industries that are being affected. The automobile industry is very interested in in 3D art. Uh, the airline uh, industry is very interested in it. You know, GM is building parts uh, with 3D printers. Uh, Airbus it, Air, Airbus has has 3D printed parts on their airplanes. Okay, uh, you know, it's, it affects the medical field. It affects uh, product visualization. All sorts of things, right? this is a reality and um, you know if you want to compete the place the place you need to go is places like URC um, with as much information as is available these days there is absolutely no reason why you should spend ninety thousand dollars at an art school that's 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 my selling point okay so um back to old ZBrush. I just wanted to bring those resources to your attention. There are lots of other places um, that you can look, but um, those things have given me the most bang for my buck, right? And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of success out of it, and I know that you can too, all right? So, that's something that I wanted to to bring up to you, and I want to get you thinking about you know where you want to go, you know what do you want to do, what is what is being a professional artist to you, is uh, because if you are in here and struggling, you know maybe reach out to a resource, maybe find a tutor, maybe find um, a mentor, right? Because uh, there are people out there. I promise you, if you reach out to me, and you have questions, I will answer you. Okay, so I want to thank you for your time. Uh, if you've stuck around this long, uh, please subscribe if you're new. Um, and if you're returning, I just want to thank you for your attention. I hope you guys are having a great week and happy Z brushing, guys. Take care.